Hi, I'm going to do two real quick problems using the idea of a wave on a string. Now we'll probably have to use some other ideas like the idea of traveling waves, but we want to focus on the wave on a string part of what we've been talking about. Here's our first problem. A transverse wave, so that's the one that goes where the bits of the wave move this way even though the wave is moving that way. A transverse wave is observed to be moving along a lengthy rope. Adjacent crests are positioned 2.4 meters apart. Exactly six crests are observed to move past a given point along the string in 9.1 seconds. Determine the wavelength, frequency, and speed of these waves. And if the rope is measured to be 4.8 meters long and have a mass of 1,200 grams, what is the tension in the rope? All right, so we have a lengthy rope and we've got a series of waves coming back and forth along the rope. And we're told that the crests are 2.4 meters apart. So that's our wavelength. So our wavelength is 2.4 meters. Exactly six crests are observed to move past a given point along the medium in nine seconds. So the time is 9.1 seconds for six crests. We want to know wavelength, frequency, speed, and then we'll do part two. Okay, well we know the wavelength already. That's the distance measured crest to crest, peak to peak. Now if six of these go by in 9.1 seconds, let's see, so we'll count. So there's the first one, two, three, four, doo -doo 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 -doo, five, six. How many waves is that? So exactly six went by in 9.1 seconds. So if we start here, we'll count here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And when we, this one hits, we're at 9.1 seconds. Now is that six waves? Nope. Let's think about it. Here is one full wave. Here's our second, here's our third, fourth, fifth. This is only five waves. So it's six crests, but it's five full waves which means that we can figure out the frequency because the frequency is the number of waves per second. How many waves go by per one second? Well, if we had five waves in 9.1 seconds, then we can calculate the frequency. It's going to be about half, um, 0.55 hertz. So there's our frequency. Five waves took 9.1 seconds and there's our frequency. We know the wavelength, so the velocity we can just get from the wave equation. Velocity is frequency times wavelength. Our frequency is 0.55 hertz and our wavelength is 2.4 meters which gives us a speed of 1.32 meters per second. So there's the first part of this one. We knew six crests went by, that's not six waves, it's five full waves. And then we were able to figure everything else out. Now we're given more information. The rope is measured to be 4.8 meters long with a mass of 1,200 grams. All right, M mass needs to be in kilograms. Length in meters is good, but we need to convert this thing to kilograms. So that's 1.2 kilograms. And we want to know what is the tension in this rope. Here's where we go to the wave on a string equation that we have. Velocity is the square root of tension over mass per unit length. We know our speed. We want to know tension. We know mass and we know length. We've got it all. It's just a question of rewriting this. So V squared, if I square both sides, that'll get rid of the square root. M over L. And now this M over L, you could you know, do the M first and then do the L, but I just keep it as a whole chunk. I think of it as one chunk because that's what it is. It's the linear density, the mass per unit length. So I can bring this up to the other side and we'll have mass per unit length times V squared equals our tension. All right, we have all three of these, so we can put that into our mass. So it's going to be 1.2 over 4.8 times V 1.32 squared. And if you do that, you get a whole whopping big tension of 0.44 Newtons. Uh, if you remember, I had a foam Newton's apple. That was a one Newton uh, weight. 
So this is half of one of those tiny little light little apples. So very, very light tension, but that makes sense in this case because we have 1.3 meters per second. This wave is not traveling very fast. It's going like this far in a second. So it's one 1,000. So yeah, I wouldn't think that that's under very high tension. All right, there's our first problem for a wave on a string. So let's do the second one. So what's our second one read? You attach your slinky to a nail in the wall. Hopefully, you know, that nail is supposed to be there and you're not like putting nails in your dorm walls. And you know, the mass of the slinky is 30 grams with a spring scale. So we've used the spring scales in lab before where it's just the, the little rectangular thing with the markings on it. So with a spring scale, you pull the other end of the slinky until it stretches to 1.15 meters. When you have it pulled up at that distance, the scale measures 8.8 .8 newtons. What is the speed of waves on the string? So that's our first question. The second question, if you pluck the slinky, so give it a little pluck and make a wave go down it, how long does it take that wave pulse to reach the other end of the slinky? And the third question here, if you set up a wave with a wavelength of 0.85 meters, what is the frequency of that particular wave? Okay, so almost done racing here. We have a long slinky, and we're going to treat slinkies like ropes or strings. So when I say a, a wave on a slinky, you can say, oh, this is a, this is a, a wave on a string. So we can use the V equals square root of T over mass per unit length. So let's give it a try. We attach a slinky to a nail in the wall, do, 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 and then pull on it with a spring scale. So there's my hand pulling on the spring scale. And we stretch it out until it is 1.15 meters long. And we know the mass is 30 grams. Grams, I always have to stop and say, nope, we need to convert that. 0 0.030 kilograms. And let me just add that we do know the length in meters. With a spring scale, you just, uh, yeah, the scale measures 8.8 .8 newtons. Now, what is that? So that's how much we're pulling on the slinky with. That is also, if you think back to physics one, that's also going to be the tension that the slinky is under. So 8.8 .8 newtons is a tension. That's the tension that the slinky is, has in it. We want to know what the wave speed is. All right, well, this one should be straightforward because it looks like we've got all three pieces. Velocity is the square root of tension over mass per unit length. Pretty easy, huh? Square root of tension, 8.8 .8 over mass, 0 0.030 over the length, 1.15. When we do that, we calculate 18.4 meters per second. So that's how fast waves are traveling. So this is a lot faster than the one we just did, which was about one meter per second. But again, we have twice as much tension on it. All right, so that's the first part. What's the wave speed? Now it says, if you pluck the slinky, how long does it take that wave pulse to reach the other end of the slinky? So I'm going to grab it here and go bleak, and then we're going to watch that wave pulse go all the way down there. We want to know how much time that takes. Again, this is small t time. This isn't the period. So keep in mind that when we use a small t, we're talking about kind of stopwatch time. The period is a set number, just like the frequency is a set number associated with a wave. So this is our small t time. Um, well, we want to know the time it takes to travel the, the length. Time, distance, that tells me we're thinking about velocity. We know the velocity. Velocity is the distance traveled in the time. So if I want to know the time, I'm just going to rewrite that. That's going to be the distance traveled divided by the velocity. And the distance traveled is the length of the slinky, 1.15 meters, over the speed, 18.4 meters per second. Calculate that. You're going to get a small number, aren't you? The time it takes is 0.0625 seconds. Wow, six one-hundredths of a second. That's fast. 
but think about it, it's going almost 20 meters in one second, so to go one meter, it's going to take a very, very short amount of time. All right, so there's our time to go the length of the slinky. The last question here, if you set up a wave with a wavelength of 0.85 meters, what is the frequency? So if we set up a wave with a wavelength of 0.85 meters, we want to know the frequency. Basic wave equation. So velocity is frequency times wavelength. Rewrite it for frequency, velocity over the wavelength. Our velocity is 18.4 meters per second. And our wavelength, <laughs> up there, 0.85 meters. So calculate that. It's going to be 21.6 hertz waves per second. So there's our third answer. So this is just a second one on waves on a string. Again, we're using this wave equation for a lot of these problems. And keep in mind the definition of velocity. If we know distance traveled and the time, we know the speed. And that speed is going to be equal to the wave speed, which we can use to relate the tension and the linear density. So there are just two quick problems for you. Hope that's making sense. Good job.